So finally, Chicagoans are starting to wake up. Shelter at this particular location. Well, stated to the top of the roof, we cannot take resources from the black community, a community invested in. Now, I say this, those seniors that come to this park know that I come here every, th every the fourth Thursday of every month with them. I know of the programming that's in this park, but there's so many other reasons why this park should not, and not just this park, but any park, but if we call our mayor's office, if we can get on our, our telephones, if we can talk to his deputy mayors, his chief of staff, we can do everything that we can possibly do to make this not a shelter on the Austin community. Miss, Mr. Glover, Mr. Glover, turn, you're going to get an opportunity on. to speak. No, 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 no. Turn the mic on. We're tired of hearing politicians. Turn the mic on. Turn the mic on. Good evening, everyone. I'll show you how disrespectful this is. On the 5 o'clock news, they projected that the migrants would be here by Saturday. Look at, look, welcome to the welcoming city. Well, I got to tell you, only certain areas are welcoming. That's us. They want us. They say they want to use this park, but let me tell you, LaSalle Street, Clark Street, all the office buildings, nobody wants to be in the loop anymore. They all want to move west because of new buildings with better amenities. Those buildings are empty right now with water, heat, and everything. But they don't want the migrants down there. We're not anti-migrants, but this is so disrespectful for them to just sit up here with this crap and we're supposed to listen to it. You know what? If you would had your right mind and see a crowd like this, you would say to yourself, they don't want it. But no, these politicians, they think that they could just do everything. And see, another thing is you all's representative, I can say what I want to say because I take nothing from them. I don't need nothing from them. Okay? They have disrespected us, our community. They're going to tell us and just shove it down our throats, and we're supposed to like it. Yeah, you all are sitting there. And another thing, they do not have a plan. Just a quick break right over here. If you like videos like this, please consider following my channel. I'm trying to just spread the word on this legal immigration, how it's taking over our country, how we need to do something about it. Trying to spread the word on this legal immigration debacle. If you feel in your heart that this is of any value to you, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to help me spread the word. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Back to the video. And so many migrants come in there, so let's take this. Let's, let's take that. Now, you see a viable park here that's functioning well in a nice area. Say this was a bad area. They wouldn't be here. We have a Chicago Park District Board of Commissioners. They never voted on turning this into a migrant center and where we have to go, okay? So that's how we're going to start. I'm going to tell you. Daniel Hayes, Laurel, Laurel Steele, followed by Bertha Frazier, Ms. And, Bertha Frazier. And James Frazier. And then James Frazier. That's the first time. So Daniel. Laurel Steele. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sure, Mama. Go okay. Ahead. Just let me no, say. No, I'm going to be sure, too. I ain't going to say no lie. But they call my name, though. I'm the first one. I'm Laurel Steele. Okay. Who's this park? The city does. You guys, the so residents of this city, owns the parks. So why are we having this argument then? We should be able to make a decision. Say that again, ma'am. Why are we in here arguing about this? If we I, own this park, we should be able to make the decision. I, I agree with you 110%. This is like anything, like I own my house, I make a decision about my house. If this is our park, we should be able to make a decision about this, it. This community, this community should have been a part of the public engagement before this decision was made. Right. I agree with you on that. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. I, I Tomorrow, can you guys advocate for the uh, migrants people to be at 
the McCormick place. That is the best place. That's the biggest place. That's the safest place for them. I would like to see what is your answer because uh, the mayor said that he, we must make sacrifice. Let the McCormick place, let those people make sacrifice. The money that's going, the 53 million, 100, 200 million dollars, let that money go to the McCormick place. What is your answer? Would you be, would you advocate for that? Is that we have since last August, since last August, we have received 17,000, over 300 buses. And as it stands right now, as it stands right now, we have almost 10,000 migrants, asylum seekers, that we have sheltered here in the city of Chicago. This is our community and you just don't dump anything on us and expect us to accept it, okay? That is not what we pay our taxes for. There's too many places, there's empty schools, empty buildings that you can take them to. We don't have a problem with them coming. Good luck to them, but this is not the place for them, not at this particular park. You'll get her name. And if we have to take the fight to City Hall, that's where we'll go. We, and it's not us against them, and that's the problem we don't care for. We don't care for that. We are oh. not insensitive, but we, we don't know what he's going to do about this. I was one of the first Windy City cheerleaders on the, on the first team they even had. This is what these kids need for this community. We got violence. We got poverty. We already getting scrapped. Why do we always got to be at the bottom of the barrel? I feel like we under the rats and the damn roaches. Y'all treat us like anything, and we just supposed to take it. Now, I'm not saying that I want the migrants to be misplaced. I'm not saying that I don't want them. I don't want them here. That's not going to help us. We got a school right here our kids go to. We don't know these people coming through here. Y'all can't track these people. Our kids are not safe. So I want to know why he's not here Thank to you. address us and let us know what he's going to do. I think he owes us Thank that. you, ma'am. Thank you. Who is she? If you can please introduce yourself. Good evening. Uh, my name is Beatrice Ponce de Leon. I'm the deputy mayor for immigrant, migrant, and oh, refugee Chris. rights. I want to share. That I, first of all, I want to say thank you for coming here. No, and every don't time thank us. We could have been doing something else. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I. I want to make sure I understood your question. You're asking where will people go right. when they're here. Right. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna answer that. Okay. Guys, can we give her an opportunity to answer Ms. Matthews' question, okay. please? So people, the, the people that we're talking about are human beings just like you. We, didn't, we know that. We know that. It is not us against them. We don't need you to tell us that. No, we don't need you. We don't need you to tell us that. We, and it's not us against them. And that's the problem we don't care for. We don't care for that. We are oh. not insensitive. But we, 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 we got a problem with you thinking you're going to jam something down our throat. You see that right there? That's a game they play. Oh, those people that you're talking about, you should be ashamed because there are humans just like you. You should be ashamed that you want better for your citizens, that you don't have enough resources to be splitting it amongst everybody else while your cities go to crap. You should be ashamed because these illegal immigrants, they're just humans, just like you. Well, Chicagoans, I'm glad you're seeing right through for what the party, by the way, that you voted for, what they're doing to you. Let's keep watching. Ms. Go ahead, Ms. Johnson. Ms. Johnson, go ahead. Okay, the hold on. My reason... question, are you the one to make the decision to take our part? Hold on. Hold okay, on, let Johnson, me share Ms. this Johnson. with you. First Ms. of all, Johnson. Hold... Ms. Johnson, hold on one First second. First of all, Ms. Johnson, hold on one second. Okay. You have to be quiet. Guys, can we have your attention, please? Can we have your attention? Okay. We have you a have speaker up at the mic. So we can hear. You have to be okay. quiet so these people can talk. You have to be quiet. Please be quiet. Okay, 
That is not our problem. My issue is you want to put a Band-Aid on a leaking faucet, and that is not going to work. You have no right to take the taxpayer park district and tell us and jam it down our throats like gangsters what you want to do. This is our park district, and we have a right to have a say-so. But we don't have a say-so. You all called our alderman and told him what he's going to do. This is war. How disrespectful that is to him. You don't have that right to do that to us. And we're not responsible. Y'all need to go to the root of the problem. You need to stop the buses, stop Sanctuary City, and it's not us against them. You all need to take care of it and quit crying to tell us this bull crap that you sitting up here telling. We don't care about what the mayor said down there. We ain't concerned about that. We're concerned about our park, our safety, our kids having a place to go and showing up our senior because I'm one of them. So my thing is, I don't need my taxes going up. I pay my taxes to come to this park and you all have no right to just make a blank decision to take it. Weeks and then jump. But you don't have to take away our community and what we're trying to build here. We've been, what are we supposed to put our kids? That's what I want to know. I, where are we supposed? To, where are our kids supposed to go? Where are they supposed to go? I see why the mayor just dumped shit on you like that. Cause you allowed that. That you allowed that. This is this is horrible. This is horrible. This is our community. And you got like they said, McCormick Place. You got all different type of places to send these people. You don't have to. You gonna interrupt this community that's thriving, that's doing well. No, no, your house. Send them to your house. Well, I guess that's what they mean when they say elections have consequences. This is what's happening. Sad, it's heartbreaking because, again, it's going to get only worse before it gets any better. I'm glad Chicagoans are doing this. We need to bring this fight more to the local level. Stop counting on Joe Biden and the Democrats to do anything about it. As a matter of fact, I'll go further. Don't even count for President Trump to do anything about it. You need to start doing this kind of thing at the local level. You need to start getting louder so they can start listening to you. Your cities are overwhelmed. The resources are being taken away from the people to be given to these illegal immigrant criminals. Not only they are spreading crime everywhere, there's nothing you can do about that, not for now, because these cities like Chicago, with very strict gun laws, the law-abiding citizens don't get to protect themselves. So crime is coming in besides the existing crime. We know Chicago has got terrible crime, but adding doesn't make it any better, right? And these ones, by the way, these criminals that are coming in, they're a little different. They hit a little different. Our criminals, they're bad, but very rarely you see one jumping cops so blatantly, so openly. These illegal immigrants, they have nothing to lose. They don't have addresses and IDs for cops to follow up on. So they jump the cops. They're gonna jump your houses. They're gonna jump your sons and daughters. They're gonna break in and they're gonna take what's yours. Again, I'm glad that you guys are seeing right through. This is what I've been talking about. If you'd like to support me spreading the word, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. I ask for nothing else other than just help me spread the word. Thank you very much and God bless you.